Hey everybody, Mike Brailswood with Brailswood Works. Thank you for joining me back in my shop today. I do appreciate it. So, I've had many gouges over the years. Um, the first gouge I got was um, in the multi-tool kit that I bought when I first got my first lathe. It was uh, total junk. I still have it. Don't know why I'm hanging on to it, but uh, I still have it. And eventually I went out and I spent a little more money and I bought my first Ellsworth gouge. Here it is. Um, it had, I, I've liked, I love the Ellsworth grind and, and I've maintained that for a long time. And as you can see, it's awfully short. So I've had to, I've had to upgrade. And one of the tools I got was the Thompson lathe tool, uh, three-quarter inch gouge. I also have the three-quarter inch bottom bowl gouge. And I do like this tool very much. It's probably my, for when I'm roughing out a bowl, this is my go-to tool. I love the handles. I love that I can get my uh, custom made for Michael A. Brailsford on there. I kind of like that. Um, and, uh, you know, they, even though they're cold in the winter, I, I you know, I don't mind the heft. I, I, I like you feel like you're moving something nothing that feels like a feather but it it's got some some weight to it and i, I kind of like that myself and uh this has been a great tool i do love them i will say even though the handle uh it's removable from the handle it's not convenient to have to take a, an allen wrench loosen this up pull it out and and sharpen it especially if you're doing a bowl out of let's say pecan and you're sharpening you know five six seven times in the matter of a turn it's just not convenient so when i took my private lesson with ashley harwood she has her own system that she sells it is a handle system that works very very fast and and she can pull it pull the gouge right out and sharpen it so it's you know it's you're, you're sharpening something that's this long versus something that's this long and when i saw that i was amazed at it and at the time she really hadn't nailed down her manufacturing yet she was in some kind of flux there and i believe now she's uh she has gotten it straightened out and believe me her tool the tools she sells are very good so i wouldn't hesitate to try them if that's what you want but uh um you know they of course they weren't readily available now that I've bought my, my Robust and I've tried their Turner's Edge tools, um, I, I was very pleased with them. And, I, and I, prob I think I'll probably stick with them for a lot of tools if they have what I want. Um, of course, right now they don't make a three-quarter inch um, gouge. Their biggest is five-eighths. So, you know, this is for my three-quarter. My Thompson is going to be my go-to tool. So they sell their own collet handle system, and I had the opportunity to get one. They come in 16 and 20 inch. So the 20 inch handle comes with the handle, the collar ring, and four collets. It comes with 3 eighths, half inch, 5 eighths, and 3 quarter. And even though they don't make a 3 quarter bowl gouge, Brent English, the owner of Robust Tools has assured me that it'll work with anybody's three-quarter inch tool. So I got it with the 5 8 bowl gouge. And uh, as I've said to you before, um, Robust Tools gouges, the Turner's Edge gouges, have been treated with this nitriding process that makes the steel harder. And these things, uh, in my opinion, I've done this, uh, I've compared it to my other... My other gouges, it holds an edge longer than the ones that do not, that have not gone through this process. Another thing I like about it is they've got a flat grind on the top of the gouge. It goes all the way through to the end of the gouge. And what that's good for is when you're sharpening, when you use a sharpening jig, especially on this one, and you're down to the end, it is hard to get a positive lock with it on, on this gouge with it onto the round part of the shank. It's, it's very difficult. 
What is nice is that this, <clears throat> with this gouge, it'll lock down anywhere. So the way this operates is you remove the ring. You take the appropriate collet, stick it in the ring, put it in wrong. It's not intuitive as far as uh, you know, what you naturally think. The tapered end goes in first, there it goes, and you screw it on. You take your gouge, you put it in there. It'll slide all the way down, so hold it to where you want it. And just tighten it down. And I can assure you, it's not going anywhere. And the beauty about this is you're, gar you're, you're turning, you're turning, you're turning, it gets dull. And instead of fighting with the full handle, simply loosen it up, you push it in and that releases the collet and pull it back and you pull it right off and then you're sharpening with this rather than this. So let's give this thing a try. So, this thing's nowhere near needing sharpening, but let's say we had to. So, I've been turning, turning, turning. It's time to sharpen this, loosen it up, give it a push in, it releases it, and you can pull it right out. So, you could be doing, have undone, so you could do the handle like I just did, or, you know, and again, I love this tool, but uh, if I wanted to take this one apart, I have to take my... Allen wrench out. Hope it turns. Loosen it up and then pull it out. It's going to take longer. I don't care what you say, it will take longer than just loosening the collet. You know, I do like this tool. I'm gonna say it again because I'm gonna get hate mail from people who say so I wasn't being fair, but and you have to put it back in and, and go. Where I already would have had this out. Get my distance right and then I can get right to sharpening. And then once all done sharpening, just put it back on the handle, twist the handle, and you're good to go. So, you know, that you, you can't beat the convenience for this. And honestly, I do like a natural wood handle. It just feels good in the hands. It's a nice size. I've got fairly large hands, so this feels, feels nice and comfortable in my hands. Um, again, super easy to use. 
And, uh, you know, and as much as I like the Thompson lathe tool, the, the, the heft of the handle on that one, um, in the winter, it, it's cold, I will tell you that. But, um, no, this is great. If you have any questions, uh, call Robust Tools. Um, I found even before I had committed to buying my American Beauty, I called up asking questions. I spoke to Brent English, he's the owner. Uh, he is super nice and will spend hours talking lathes to you if you let him. Um, he is uh, really easy to work with and uh, you know, you can get these here, you can get it, you can get this handle at Craft Supplies USA. And um, you know, I, I'd recommend it. I think it's a, this is a great system, super easy and uh, you know, excellent product. All right, thank you all for watching. If you think you've gotten any value out of this, please click like and subscribe, I'd appreciate that. If you disagree with me, you think this handle system is garbage and you wanna tell me why, leave me a comment. If you love this handle system, if you've got it and you like it and you agree, let me know, I'd love to hear that too. <clears throat> um, if uh, you know you you know other alternatives, I'd love to I love to hear about those. Again, Ashley Harwood's handle system, very nice. I recommend those as well. Um, and you know this is uh, this is just a, you know a free forum. All right, thank you all for watching. Please stay safe. Bye bye.